Hi, uh, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, and whichever whichever part of the world you are. Uh, I want to take you through a short introduction of the GARP ERP exam, which basically stands for the Global Association of Risk Professionals Energy Risk Professional Exam. It was launched back in 2009, and it's the world's only exam to prove competency in the energy industry. Currently, there are about 1,500 plus certified ERPs in the market. And uh, let me just take you through some of the benefits of the certificate. Now, I get this question asked a lot that can you tell me what are the real benefits of achieving this certificate? So, I was certified a few months back, I passed it in my first attempt. Some of the benefits I realized is that among the pool of uh, various resources currently in the market, it definitely gives you an edge among your competition within this space and it instantly demonstrates that you have the experience and knowledge of this particular domain. The second benefit I've seen is that this world is complex and has a lot of things and navigating it could be quite complex. So the ERP exam is a structured way of understanding these various topics in a structured and conceptual manner, thereby cementing it in your thought process. Now an independent body uh, uh, said by GARP claims that this certificate is highly valued in itself and is equivalent to a master's degree. So this research has been done here on this particular space and uh, you, you can check it out on the website as well. I'll come back to that shortly. Apart from that, you get access to a wide variety of uh, the resources once you join the com community. So what do I mean by that? For example, now I have logged in into my dashboard, right? My car dashboard once you log in you they give you a free login simply go to risk intelligence and you get access to various kinds of news uh, related to this industry and they've divided it into operational technological economics energy credit market and so on and it keeps you up to date with the latest uh, happenings within this industry all in one uh, go to website so you don't have to uh, you know jump through a lot of different web pages it, it has it all here apart from that you get access to a wide variety of videos as well which is into the website and you can search by key or whatever you're looking for for example if I'm looking for something in terms of credit I type that and it filters that now there's a huge list of the videos in the library hence it takes a bit of time to load and probably mine stuck but you can, I hope you get the drift. Beyond that, what they do is every time they try and call some keynote speakers, basically uh, stalwarts of the industry to come and talk about their experience and they send you a WebEx link uh, to this uh, resource and you can ask them questions live, you can ask them about the latest happenings in the market, what they feel about changes in the energy industry and gain access to that WebEx live. GAR also continuously uh, hosts networking events across the globe and this since you are a certified, once you become a certified energy risk professional you get access to this community thereby you can you know build your network even further. Of course the certificate at the end gets you and makes you become a part of an elite group of certified energy risk professionals. Let me take you through the website a bit more. So you see these are the different videos you get access to. Uh, you, there, are, there are various risk convention events. Uh, you can learn more about your chapter. So you have a choice of choosing your own chapter. Uh, basically you get access to a lot of, lot of material which is uh, made available by GARP for you. Again, a question I get asked a lot, okay, what is the structure of the exam? Now, you can download this obviously from their website, but to put it short, there are two parts, physical and financials. Mm -hmm. In part one, the physicals, it's a four hour exam. In one sitting, no break. There are 80 multiple choice questions. So you have to choose one out of four, four options. 
The first part focuses on physicals and by physicals what do I mean? Physicals means commodities such as crude, refined products, natural gas, LNG, coal and electricity. These are the commodities the ERP exam focuses on. Within the physicals we deep dive into each one of these and basically look at their uh, value chain for each of these commodities and what makes them different than other commodities. Once you are done with part 1, you have to you have to sit the part 2 exam which is the financials which is again a 4 hour one sitting paper with no break and 60 multiple choice questions. Within this there are 3 basic uh, topics you have to focus on, financially traded energy products, how do you assess market risk, what is volatility, VAR, CFAR, how to calculate your PNLs and so on and then risk management tools right how once you figure out these are the various risks involved in moving uh, these commodities from point A to point B and how do I manage this such risk in the market after you pass these two exams that's not enough you also have to demonstrate a two-year working experience within this uh, field within the space of energy and you, you, you write that on your resume and you have to submit it back onto your GARP dashboard then they review it and if they find it's relevant uh, they, they provide you your certificate if not they tell you to make so and so look at these areas where then you can be more uh, uh, and get the certificate faster once you are certified that's not enough you also have to go through a continuing education program which is basically a uh, guard provided uh, uh, continuing education materials and these are basically those webex links these articles where you have to attend and then submit those uh, uh, submit those uh, credits back onto your uh, continuous program de development and you submit your credits here and then you have to review that. So every time, for example, here's a feature reading, building the new gas transportation infrastructure in the EU, which is quite a hot topic. And and once you do that, you get a CPD credit score. So you have to you have to you have to collect <coughs> you have to collect about 40 of these CPD scores, and <coughs> it it ensures your your certificate is in line with the market and you are up to date with the with the current information. Some important points which I think is very important when you sit for the exam please note only GARP certified calculators are allowed and they've clearly mentioned which calculators are these on their page please 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 make a note of this because I have seen candidates who are not allowed to take the calculator inside and that significantly increases their time of calculation and they waste a lot of time right and that could completely ruin your chances of passing the exam here is the list of uh, calculators if you don't have one borrow from your friend but only these are allowed right please 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 note that the second is a lot of questions come asking what is the prep time i suggest two hours daily for about two months should be good for part one of the exam and similarly two hours daily for two months for part two so in a sense uh, four months of uh, good two hours studying every day maybe on the weekends you can put in a couple of hours more and that should make you well prepared for this exam of course make notes after each chapter i cannot stress on this enough if you make these notes it immediately gives you a, a view of what the chapter is all about and in fact the exam focuses on basic of the summary of the notes of each chapter you create then we'll I, I also suggest completely deep dive into the world of energy for the next four months read books watch movies in your free time on energy for example deep water horizon by bp uh, you have uh, you, you have enron the smartest guys in the room you have a lot of cool documentaries around energy uh, watch it all and immerse yourself so this technique is called the immersive immersive learning technique just fill yourself with this for the next four months a uh, simple suggestion from my side, apply the Feynman technique in studying. So Richard Feynman, one of uh, my favorite scientists, says learn as if you're trying to teach someone and that makes you understand the concept better. So whenever you're reading a chapter, uh, think of it that you're reading it to explain it to another friend or teaching it to somebody else and that will ensure that that concept gets cemented in your mind. 
during the exam it's it's a lot of questions it's four hours it's quite intensive i would suggest quickly answer everything you know first because so how they prepare the exam is it's not in a logical order of flow of complexity questions are spread out everywhere it's a mix of different concepts quickly go and answer the ones you know first so for example there may be a very easy question on uh, uh, maybe a very simple question on slide question number 50 quickly read through the entire paper and answer what you know and then come back to the ones which are tougher because the marks are pretty much the same but the varying degree of complexity of each question varies quite a bit therefore answer the ones you know first i please i i want to stress on this because some people get very passionate about solving a question and then when you when you see you got 30 minutes left and you have 40 questions remaining right so keep that in mind also it's an expensive exam yeah make sure you pass it in your first attempt you don't want to redo it it's quite expensive to redo it if you if you go to the if you see on their page a returning candidate you almost have to pay uh, another half of the amount you paid initially so make sure you have all the materials you you follow all the uh, the points properly and and you get it right the first time yeah and try registering early for the exam you obviously get a much better discount for it with that wish you all the best and look forward to you joining the ERP community thank you